Welcome to our lecture online. Given the three equations that we saw in the previous video and two vectors, we're trying to determine the angle between the two vectors. So what we need to do before we can find the angle between the two vectors, we need to find the dot product with both equations. And before we can even do that, we're going to need to find the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. So starting with the magnitude of A, that is equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. And so in this case, that would be equal to the square root of 7 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared, which is equal to the square root of 49 plus 9 plus 25, right, which is equal to that's 58, that's 68, 78, that's the square root of 83. See, that's correct. That's 60, 78, 83. All right, now for B. To find the magnitude of B, that's equal to the square root. Again, we plug in the X, Y, and Z components. So we have minus 8 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared, which is equal to the square root of, that's 64, plus 16, plus 4, that's 80, that's the square root of 84. Wow, pretty close. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and plug in into our equation for the angle theta. So now we have theta is equal to the inverse cosine of, in the numerator, we're going to multiply the x components, the y components, and the z components of the two vectors together. So that means that we have 7, times the negative 8 plus 3 times a positive 4 plus 5 times 2 in the numerator divided by the product of the magnitudes of the two vectors which is equal to the square root of 83 times the square root of 84. Okay, simplifying that a little bit, theta is equal to the inverse cosine of, that would be minus 56 plus 12, plus 10, all divided by the square root of 83 times the square root of 84. So 56 plus 12, that would be 44, plus 10, that would be 34. So that would be theta is equal to the inverse cosine of a negative 34 divided by the square root of 83 times the square root of 84. At this point, I'm going to need a calculator. So we take the square root of 83 and multiply that times the square root of 84. Take the inverse of that and we're going to multiply that times negative 34 equals. So that gives us theta is equal to the inverse cosine of we have a negative 0 0.407. Let's quickly review that. So 34 divided by 83, take the square root, divided by 84, take the square root, equals, yes, negative 407. Now, think about the angle. It's a negative 4.07. So if we look at the quadrants, we know that for the cosine of the angle theta, this is positive, this is negative, this is negative, this is positive, and we're looking for an angle between 0 and 180 degrees, which means we're in the second quadrant here, so therefore we're going to find an angle between 90 and 180 degrees. So take the inverse cosine of that, and we get an angle of theta being equal to 114 degrees. And there you go, that's how it's done. So given two angles, Using the dot product definitions, it is not that difficult to find the angle between the two vectors, and this is how it's done.